Oh, welcome so, back. Mahmoud Yaqub there mm -hmm. with uh, some updates for us. Firing from the mountain oh. Yeah, he, he was saying that uh, no Nigerian will be disenfranchised despite the issues they've had with the beavers. And of course, uh, he talked about um, Isaac officials being attacked by bandits at Gwaza. No, but then. People, he is giving us assurances that we're just getting reports mm. that at Tamilibu, that people were actually attacked. And uh, yeah. well, I mean, they were actually they were not allowed, to, allowed vote, to vote. They except if you were voting for, for the ABC. ABC. But now we hear that um, they're being voting no, no, commenced has again. Has yes, because soldiers were deployed um, to that particular polling unit. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it goes. And mm -hmm. um, just as I said earlier on, something is happening in Sri Lanka, something of, you know, uh, the same um, nature. Mm. We're hoping that we can get one of the voters who's scampered for f safety. Uh, once he's able to get to a place where it's safe for him to speak, he would speak to us. Mm. Uh, but this also goes to show that um, um, maybe we don't have enough security spread around I because I mean, we've seen a lot of roadblocks, but these roadblocks, what have they done to help the security situation? Apparently, they haven't even done much help because if uh, those roadblocks were to forestall all of these issues that we hear now, that means it mm. was not effective after all. Mm. Let's let's try and see uh, what Bayo has to say about all of this. Uh, Bayo Oluwake has been standing by. Many thanks for staying with us, Bayo. You have been following the reports. Uh, INEC chairman was just in the news and he's assuring voters that no one will be disenfranchised. However, there were issues uh, from Elegoshi and Sorole. Let's get your quick reaction. Yes, I heard uh, Professor Yakubu talking. Um, for Elegoshi, I also heard that, uh, because it's not too far from where I am, I heard that the military was deployed, uh, which probably also presupposes that we are being watched <laughs> and uh, they, are, they are actually responding. I know some other media organizations themselves are also publishing uh, and broadcasting feedback. Uh, but, but we were talking specifically about Nebuchadnezzar, and now we understand soldiers are there, and that voting has commenced. I would like to commend the courage of the voters. I saw the clip that you played where they were demonstrating and insisting that they had to vote. They were very peaceful, uh, very determined, nonetheless. Uh, and now, hopefully, they, they can actually vote. And I think we should commend this to others. Just like the young man, um, Aki, who spoke where Loretta was earlier on, you know, uh, he was also saying, listen, we have to vote. Uh, it's, it's our responsibility and our duty as citizens. And especially being a young person, I, I, I was quite excited at that. Now, this incident in Goza is um, a bit unsettling because uh, from reports, we know that Goza had been sanitized. Uh, for many who don't know, Goza is where you have the headquarters of the Nigerian Mobile Police Training Facility. So one would have expected a lot more security in that area. But then maybe it's on the outskirts of Goza. But nonetheless, the existence of such a facility in Goza should have added to the security, to strengthening the security in the area. But let us just hope again that that was an isolated incident and that security agencies can actually go after those who were firing uh, and, and bring the situation under control. Um, so many lessons from this election. Um, so far, I think we are still we are still able to say, well, from what one can see, that these incidents are still isolated, but they carry a very big risk in the sense that people could be seriously injured and people could lose their lives. This is why we should never accept that things like this should be happening during elections. And all those who are concerned should just live up to, 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 to their responsibilities, uh, you know, and make sure that things are brought under control. Um, I hope that Professor Yakubu's assurance that people can still vote uh, way beyond the closing time will be actually, will be... All right. Uh, by all okay, we I want to say that information can go down to the state resident. I'm sorry, Baya, we, we have to run now, but we want to thank you. You've been with us for a whole hour plus um, analyzing these issues. And I'm sure you're going to keep your eyes, uh, uh, you know, in the news to make sure uh, that you follow all of the happenings this um, today, maybe till the results are out. But we want to thank you once again for being part of the conversation today. Thanks for inviting me and uh, God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.